our next uh, contributor from the working group and final external contributor is Rebecca Menzies from Get Glasgow Moving. So welcome uh, to the committee, Rebecca. Hi, yeah, thanks for having us today. Um, I'm the campaigner for Get Glasgow Moving. We're a people-led campaign group demanding better public transport for everyone in Glasgow. On the 24th of January this year, we handed in a petition to the council, which has been signed by over 10,000 people, calling for a world-class transport system for Glasgow. We were then invited to be part of the Climate Emergency Working Group, which we thank were thankful to be part of. Public transport came up as the single biggest issue in the responses to the public survey. It's clear the people of Glasgow were not happy with the current network and want an affordable, accessible and integrated system. We want to congratulate the committee on the recommendations related to public transport. The campaign fully supports what the final report has said and we will do what we can to help to ensure that these are fully implemented. We believe that re-regulating the buses and bringing them back into public ownership as well as the proposed assessment into making public transport free are necessary for tackling the climate emergency. It is an emergency and we must respond in that way. We believe the only way to really shift people from cars, which contribute to over 40% of emissions, we need to get people onto public transport is to make it more affordable or free in the long term and to ensure that the city works to one network, one table, one timetable and one ticket principle. Improving our public transport will also improve the lives of people of Glasgow, particularly for those on low incomes who experience transport related poverty. Public transport is a public service and these recommendations will deliver the change that's desperately needed not only to tackle the climate emergency but also inequality and social isolation. We believe the creation of the Metro recommended by the Net Connectivity Commission report would be a step change for Glasgow's public transport as well as the proposed investment of £10 billion. We hope that national government provide the funding to make this a reality as well as the other recommendations. Now we hope that the council and other parties will fully implement the recommendations in the report. Thank you.